Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm over by the water fountain and today I'm going to start planning around it. So let me show you what I have planned. Okay, so right now the sidewalk is there and the swoop just kind of meets right into the fountain. But what I want to do is kind of like take it and go in a little bit and then I want to like swoop it around the bowl here and then go back. So I'm going to have to remove some grass. I'm probably going to remove the plastic too because well, I'm not too into landscape fabric anymore. I already have a pinky winky hydrangea tree back there. So what I thought I would do, because this is next to the gazebo, is probably plant lavender. And I'll tell you why. It's supposed to keep a few kinds of bugs away. I don't remember right off the top of my head. But I figured a swoop of lavender would be nice here. Then I also have a purple fountain grass and I have a clematis that's actually a shrub type. So I'm going to be adding that as well. And then I'm still waiting on some flowers that I ordered online because I couldn't find them anywhere. But at least we'll get started today. So I'm going to start off by removing the grass. Okay, so I just got all of the grass removed around the fountain. I didn't have to do too much, but I just did a little swoop back there. All right, so now I'm going to set out the plants and I'll show you what I have planned. Okay, so I have the lavender laid out here and then going around the corner here, I have the yeah, by me clematis, so that will be a bush in here. And this area is really wet. So I have a couple irises, which you can actually plant right in the water. So, I'm going to get to planting. Okay, so I just got all of the plants planted. The lavender is in, the stamp by me clematis, and the two maize and blue irises. So now I'm going to mulch and I'll show you the finished product. All right, it's all mulched. So as you can see, my line there, that's all the farther I got. So I have the lavender planted. It really, the mulch really brings out the lavender irises are back there and then I had enough to go to that corner so all in all this area really shaped up like I said I'm still waiting on some plants okay guys so it's a week later cone flowers are here so now let's open them up and see what they look like okay so these came from a website called plants for home and I ordered them a long time ago and they finally showed up. So let's see what we got in here. I should mention they were also $9 a piece. So I'm not expecting giant plants. wrapped in paper and then they have some clear tape keeping the soil in all right so there's one now let me open the other six and I'll show you what we got So here they are and um, they're okay. Let me show you a couple things that I noticed. One, they vary in size, which plants do, not a big deal. Second thing is right here on my slip, I ordered salsa red cone flowers. 
Um, I had them last year, they were beautiful. I have a picture. But if you look at the tag, these are called Sombrero Sangria, which if I remember right, they have more of an orange tint to them. So um, that's one thing that I'm a little concerned about because I don't really plant orange. The second thing is, which I know it costs a lot of money to ship things, but look at my grand total. I'm pretty sure that if you went to a garden center, you probably wouldn't spend that much on six plants, but it varies. I mean, overall, they look healthy. Um, of course, they do need to stretch out a little bit, but now I'm gonna place these around the fountain and complete my planting. All right, so if you look, I did these in a triangle. Usually when people walk up to the gazebo, this is their view. So I did the triangle like this, but I was going to do six here, but they get like 24 inches wide and about 18 inches tall. So I didn't want them to like go crazy over here, which in my experience they do. For some reason, they just don't come back. So I really love how this area is shaping up. Actually, I think I'm finished over here. I don't want to take too much away from the fountain. So just a refresher of this area, I have a Black Eyed Susan, which is getting really attacked by the slugs. It's kind of expanding into two different directions. Then I have the half a ring of lavender here. Of course, the cone flowers that I just planted. The Stand By Me Clematis, the irises, the Pinky Winky Hydrangea Tree, more Black Eyed Susans, and then I tucked that purple fountain grass in the corner here, just because I thought it would fill in the space good and it gets a lot of sun there, which will make it happy. But thank you guys so much for following along on this journey, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.